Hello friends, it gives me immense pleasure to have with us Dr. Akshit, one of the winners of INICT May 2025. He has scored a rank of 175. Dr. Akshit and family, heartiest congratulations, dear. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for the, from the, all the cerebellum faculty. I really respect you a lot, sir. It, it is really of all because of you that I am able to sit here and talk to you, sir. I feel, I feel honored to talk to you, sir. Great, great, great. Dr. Akshit, tell us about yourself, your college. How did you prepare? Sir, I am a 2018 batch student of Mulana Azad Delhi. Uh, my internship got over at April 2023. Uh, this is my second attempt. Uh, in my first attempt, I wasn't able to like bring my best attempt. So uh, after that, I didn't feel very good. So I talked to my friend, like family and they like honestly like motivated me that if you believe this is not your best shot, don't compromise anything. It's just a matter of few months or hardly an year because of all the delays. So that really motivated me to pursue for my second attempt. Wow. Uh, Dr. Akshit, I am also a graduate from Olanazad Medical College. So you have made me also a lot proud today. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Dr. Akshit, what was the major source or pillar of your preparation? Did you go through the main videos of Cerebellum or the live mission classes? Sir, I believe I was able to stick to the live classes better. So I stick to the mission classes of the Cerebellum, sir. But live mission classes we conduct daily evening. Idea is to make students sit daily with us live for so many hours. Were you able to attend all those classes? Yes, sir, I attended 80 to 90 percent of all the classes and the classes which I did not attend, I used to read the PDF or the annotated version of that class. But I really attended all the live classes sir, because wow. live classes I feel is the right way, like at least for me, who is not able to like, get that much of a sitting on, on its own. Uh, Dr. Akshit, actually, this was the precise idea. We have been teaching me, Dr. Govind, Dr. Poor have been teaching since last 20 years, medical students in the country. And we realized, frankly, it's not easy to sit for long when someone is teaching you. But mission classes, we made sure teacher is also continuously sitting, <laughs> writing, discussing with you, solving your doubts. So mission classes turned out to be a good idea, right? Sir, I, I, I have been following all of your teachers since my second year. I attended the live classes of GRG sir, of Spurs sir, and I attended the live classes of you in my third year. Oh, so wow. the, uh, from that time, I believe that for me, live classes would be the way to go. Because I am not that much like structured to like for just follow a recorded video. I feel wow. that interaction is better for me. Wow. So Dr. Akshit made a mission during that time only I have to crack INICT. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Dr. Akshit, you are aware, but for the knowledge of thousands of students who are going to watch this, friends, in mission classes daily evening, we try to cover 100% course. And after that, in lab two, we conduct all live examinations and discussions. So, Dr. Akshit, were you able to utilize those examinations and discussions live? Yes, sir. I, I honestly give all the ENDs in its live window, like morning only. And I used to attend the discussions in the afternoon. ENDs, I feel, are like were really good. And I also attended all all the previous ENDs since I joined Cerebellum after I got to hear from my friend after my first year attempt. So I feel that like the, I really felt the content was very good. So that motivated me to even follow the previous ENDs, which I was not able to attend the live. So I think I have attended 90 to 95% of all the ENDs like held till now in the Cerebellum app. Wow, that is really commendable. Dr. Akshit, many students say PYQs will not come. Should I do it? Should I not? So what was your take on PYQ? Did you do all PYQs in the Cerebellum map? Then I think this paper is itself the proof that PYQs are a must because there are many questions which I honestly got in the last attempt in the last INISET May and INISET November, which directly came into this INISET. So I really felt that the like doing the PYQs was a great motivator and pusher and the fact that the initial recently like cerebellum recently launched that late night pvqs and midday module pvqs it was really a stress buster for me because i didn't have to follow any other source i didn't have to follow any other module specifically for pvqs they were just occurring randomly and the like other good thing also that the pvqs also were being repeated after some point so mm. i really felt that it was it was really good that I had a like, good hold of PYQs after like just two to three months before, I was very confident in my PYQs. 
Wow, great. Uh, Dr. Akshit, I'll tell you a trade secret. Cerebellum has been founded by teachers who have been teaching in the country since last 20 years. <laughs> All of them, of course, have been doctors themselves. They have done their post-graduation, super specialization, many of them. So actually, we utilize our experience as a medical student. We know when a medical student has ha or had his lunch in the afternoon, he feels a bit sleepy. So we try to waking, wake him up by giving midday modules. <laughs> and you know, before sleeping, a medical student after having done all day's hard work, want to go to bed satisfied. So we thought, let's give him 30, 40 questions late night PYQ. He can attempt. He will feel motivated and confident. Okay, I've utilized my full day with 100% effort. So late night journey, how was that? <laughs> Since it was your second attempt, wasn't it troublesome? Sir, honestly, like the the myth that look feel like like the people say that second attempt, you can you can gradually say like I am I will give my second attempt. It will be nothing. But hmm. as you like progress further, it really takes a toll on your mental state. That uh, like uh, the other people of your batch are gradually admitting, they are taking seats, and you're still preparing for that interview. Okay. But uh, like I used to talk to this about like to my family also, but they just said they, they, they just say one thing that the branch you take and the college you get will stick with you with 40 years. So hmm. after 20 to 30 years, nobody will ask you that he, like you have graduated 2023 or 2024. They will hmm. just ask you whether you are like from which college you are from. And no, the college also not, but they are just telling you that which branch are you from. So that motivated me that uh, ultimately in the long run, they won't, it wouldn't matter that whether I'll crack in my this attempt or will my next attempt, but the rank, but the rank, the college and the branch that I will get, that will stick with me. So I just like, be true to myself and have a little, like, the distractions come also, okay? have little as far as distractions come. And trust me, we will not leave you in your post-graduation also cerebellum <laughs> another part conceptual whichever <laughs> clinical branch you choose we have residency courses and we are with students throughout so dr akshit grand test did they play any role in your success this time yes sir i i, I used to feel very much scared after giving my initial day grand test i didn't used to score very well but like it is just a, like every grand test is a journey you won't get like uh, that many corrects in the first grand test in itself. Every grand test will tell you some weak areas and definitely every grand test, you won't have the same weak subjects that you had the previous one. Maybe in every grand test, you will have some different subjects. So grand test is literally a, like a chunk of all those 200 questions, all those different subjects, which are able to tell you something that you do not know the first time. And even if you think you felt confident in some subject, there were always some questions to push you farther. So it helps to like make your weak subjects your moderate and your strong subjects even stronger. So I used to like attempt all the grand tests in the live video and used to follow them very religiously. Okay. Should I look at my grand test scores when I'm att attempting them on a regular basis? My yes, sir. You, you, uh, it depends, sir. If you think like I would, I would say you should not get that much uh, attached to your grand test score. Obviously, you should follow your progress over the grand test score, but you should follow your rank more than the grand test score because every grand test has different uh, difficulty levels. So absolute score won't matter. All that matters is whether you'll be able to give your best, whether you think you like did your silly mistakes or you think there was any recall errors or anything like that. More than score, I feel you should take what that is teaching to you. And how much you're progressing, how much you think you have bettered from the last one. And trust me, the grand test score doesn't always match with your need PG scores. It, it's just a matter of those three hours in the, that initial paper, it's just you and your computer and how you like attempt that paper in the three hours. It can give you a really good surprise also. Great, great, great. Dr. Chit, I always advise the students as you start approaching the main exam, you should be targeting 150 to 200 questions on a daily basis. Were you able to reach this mark of 150 questions on a daily basis? Yes, sir, honestly, I used to give approximately 200 to 250 questions. On a good day, maybe 300 questions. When, oh. I, when I used to feel that I I have a pretty good like hold of the theory of some subject. So for long subjects, I used to give these much MCQs in a day. Wow. 
Uh, friends, uh, let me summarize what Dr. Akshit is laying down a strategy for you to crack the upcoming examination. Mission live classes, he was able to attempt up to 90% live classes. It's not easy to attend 90%. All the ENDs and live almost late night PYQ midday modules, he used to attempt all the GTs on a consistent regular basis. Now, Dr. Akshit, which branch are you looking for? Sir, honestly, I am a little confused between medicine and surgery. I know these are very polar branches. But I think I'm a little more inclined towards surgery because like both my parents are doctors and my father is a surgeon. So mm -hmm. like being on its footstep, I have always had the exposure of surgery right from my childhood. Okay. So that pushed me to, towards taking MBBS, that pushed me towards taking surgery. Even my real brother is like, uh, pursuing surgery as a third year. Are, wow, great. So Dr. Akshit. Cerebel Hum is an event where all the ranker students get to meet with their teachers. So Dr. Akshit is going to come to Cerebel Hum Delhi and tell me, sir, forget INICT. I am one of the toppers of NEET PG also. Definitely, sir. Definitely. I think the power of manifestation is really good. And I think if you believe that you can do it, I think that you, you will do it. So I, I made a manifestation last year after seeing my friends go to the event. So I, th I thought about, I thought to myself that next year I will definitely attend that event. I am thankfully I'm here, sir. Okay. So now I'm giving you a multiple choice question, single response. You have to tell me the answer. When Dr. Akshita Molana Azad Medical College student is going to meet Dr. Vivek Jana Molana Azad Medical College student in MAMSI only. Which of these four places will be your favorite? Number one, library steps. Number two, two four H canteen. Number three, bookshop by Mr. Varish. Or number four, your hostel room. Sir, I think Neski would be a really great place to meet you, sir. E either the Neski or the like, swing uh, in front of the library. Those okay. two are my favorite places from the map. Okay. Swing, I will keep, keep it for your girlfriend. Neski, I will meet you where you are going to treat me with a cold coffee, right? <laughs> definitely, sir. Definitely. Chalo. So good to talk to you, Dr. Akshit. And so happy to see you smiling. Heartiest congratulations to your parents first. Thank then your you. number will come. Tell your brother that you are going to follow him in his footsteps. And your parents must be feeling very happy and proud today. So are we at Cerebellum Academy. Thank you so much for all the teachers, sir, for guiding your support. And literally the one thing I really felt that all of you have made the telegram group and all of you are so accessible in that group that it really feels as if you're teaching us one to one. So the doubt solving session on the telegram app really helped me a lot. Thank you so much, sir, for all, all of your guidances and all. Oh, of wow. Teaching. Thank you so much, Dr. Akshit. Like all the INICT winners of this time, among all of them, I'm declaring you as the brand ambassador of the mission program of Cerebellum Academy today. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm really honored, sir. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Tomorrow morning, come back to your study table. Start preparing for NEET PG. We'll again connect tomorrow morning in Cerebellum Telegram group. And follow all the revision sessions till the NEET PG, till the last minute of NEET PG exam, you have to continue. Yes. Then I yes. will... Then we will let you go free to enjoy next two, three months before you join your final MD or MS. As Definitely, per your... sir. Like the cerebellum says, take your preparation to the last day. I really believe that quote and I will follow that. Thank you so much. All the best. Stay on course. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you, sir.